Hi, this is Angela Galloway, and I'm making another video today just to give you a tour of our Blackboard page and also of our My Stat Lab and how you're going to use that in our online class. So when you get to our Blackboard page, if you're looking at it right now, it should look something similar to this. Let me turn on uh, the student mode. So this is probably what you see. Uh, we've got um, some different buttons over here. You may have some more announcements now. Um, than when I was recording this video. But at the top of the page, um, I'll always have this uh, due date calendar up here, just kind of as a reminder of, you know, when all those due dates are, so you don't have to go searching uh, through my stat lab to find them or look back on the syllabus. So you'll have it right there because those kind of are the most important things, right? As you go through this class, you want to know when is everything due. So that's going to be the due dates uh, for all of those. If you go over here, um, you'll see the announcements is where we are. And then we have this start here category. Uh, the start here, uh, the first one here is for if this is your first online class or even if it's not and you just want to see what some of these questions are about. When you click on here, it gives you some ideas of how to get ready for an online class, um, making sure that your computer is ready, those kind of things. If we go back to the start here and go to the welcome to this class, this is going to have all the stuff that's important just to our statistics class. Um, and so you've got some information from me. Here's our syllabus here, which I have um, in Word and in PDF form. They're both the same, just whichever way uh, you would like to look at it. This kind of explains um, our e-textbook and that we use uh, my stat lab through Pearson. And that is how we access all of our uh, homework and quizzes. So that's what uh, you'll see there. If you need to download Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, you do have free access to that. So there's some information on how to go through there. And so several other things here um, that you can go through uh, to get a feel for what our class is going to be like. Uh, this next one, the chapter notes and videos, also very important uh, to most students. They enjoy this. Um, I have it separated by unit. Okay, so we're going to have five units and each unit is two chapters, so we have 10 chapters to get through. Uh, if you go to unit one here, which is where you'll start, I've got our chapter one notes. And so these notes are, um, I think now they're a few semesters old. I think I loaded these from uh, spring 2016. Uh, but the lecture notes pretty much from semester to semester stay the same from my lecture classes. The only thing that changed um, are, you know, more current events or more updated examples, uh, but the concepts pretty much stay the same. So what I've got here is notes that we did in my lecture class and um, all the things that I wrote on them using the smart board in our class. And then these notes uh, that you have here, you could print them out if you want to, um, so you can have them with you as you're studying. Uh, but I also have a lecture video that you can watch, which is just me going through these notes, working out the problems, um, and talking about some of the concepts that you're going to see in those notes. So these lecture videos are going to be right after each of the chapter notes. So you'll see here we've got chapter one and then chapter two. So this would be all the material you would need to understand for the assignments for chapter one and two. So then if you go back here, you go to unit two um, and it'll have some more information. Um, occasionally I'll add in some other videos that I think were maybe good at explaining uh, different uh, functions from the calculator or maybe from Excel that you're going to be using. So I might have some other videos linked there uh, just to help you with that. Okay, so that's what you're going to find there in the chapter notes and videos. And then we've got the proctored exam. Uh, our class does have a proctored exam and it's going to be the final exam. So I know it seems like a long way away now, uh, but just want to Kind of keep that in the back of your mind that we are going to have a proctored exam so come april you're going to need to start thinking about where am i going to do my proctored exam uh, can i go to kctcs location etc so that's what this goes through kind of gives you some questions to ask and some um, answers to some of those questions you may have this is the formula sheet that you can use for our final exam uh, you also can bring your calculator and you can bring one page of your own notes. So if you want to write out, uh, you know, definition stuff, or if you want to write out uh, some examples of problems that maybe are tricky to you, uh, you're welcome to do that. Uh, then we've got uh, some help areas. So we've got a study help. 
uh, which uh, you can uh, actually find where you could get a tutor. The Learning Center does have math tutoring, so if you wanted to set up um, a math tutoring session, you could do that here. If you go to My Tech Help, that's more about Blackboard, your computer, those kind of issues that you might have. And then I have some My Stat Lab help. This really just has some of those common uh, questions or issues students run into. And so now that I've been teaching it several semesters, I kind of know uh, what those questions or issues are going to be. So I went ahead and kind of put the top ones that I see people having issues with and some of the resolutions to those. Um, and then overall, you can always click on this Pearson help. Uh, which is their page that talks about how, you know, to fix certain things uh, that you might run into. So you can go there to get the frequency ask, frequently asked questions uh, to chat, to uh, call them, email them, all that stuff uh, is located here. But you might be able to answer your question just by looking at these um, problems that other students have had in the past. And then this last thing here, the My Stat Lab login, that's where you're going to click to actually go to my stat lab, which is where we're going to do all our homework from. Okay. And it will open into this other page. So without having to put in any other password or login, you should open right into uh, the my stat lab. All right. So I'm going to make another video to talk about the my stat lab, but that was the end of our uh, Blackboard tutorial. So if you have any questions about how to navigate anything, or if you can't find the syllabus or uh, can't find my contact information, anything like that, uh, feel free to contact me. Uh, you can email me at angela.galloway at kctcs.edu uh, or you can call me at 270-901-1084. All right, so I'm going to get into the My Stat Lab information in the next video and I will see you then.